you're my friend, baby doll. I still think Chainlink is going to $200, $400, $600 one day. I want to use the lowest target. You can do $150, $200. I don't care. Every time the, the candles go down, I get spammed with messages. Ah, you're a poopy head. You're a poopy head. Every single time I say no. You're the poopy head. I have this rectangle golden zone of friendship, which is December 2025. That is where I am accumulating up until. Are you going to do that? I have this beautiful, juicy thread to explain. Why chain link? Firstly, it's not got any competition. Everybody else is competing for a layer one chain or a DEX or all these other things. Chainlink is a unique technology on its own. I've made many videos about it. And someone here has made a juicy thread. I've got so much juicy information to tell you. This really brings it all together, friends. The crypto tsunami is approaching, bringing trillions of dollar to the industry. And nobody talks about it. I'm a nobody. You're a nobody. We are outsiders. We're just trying to do our best in this world. So the thesis, we're moving closer to the mass adoption of, of blockchain technology. This is all about using Chainlink. And we're going to go through, you're actually going to see it for yourself. So big players are coming in, friends. We have the introduction. Don't worry about it. All you need to know is that there is a problem. So right now, Swift is officially using Chainlink. No ifs, no buts. They actually made an official tweet. It's just unfortunate right before the SEC stuff, nobody wanted to buy Link. Who cares? Forget about him. Gary's OnlyFans has been going down. I've been tipping him. He has not been sending us any unique emojis or poems. Get him out. No one cares. We're thinking about the future. If you want to be a, a smelly bear, you want to poop in the woods, get out of here. We are bulls. We poop out in the open with everybody else. There is a key problem in crypto. We have it here. Swift and Chainlink would like to solve this problem. The problem is that there's too many chains. There's too many people. It's disjointed. All of it everywhere. Everywhere. All right. So you even have here, we talk about the Swift blockchain experiment. Swift announced a test to use Chainlink's CCIP for connecting the entire Swift network. CCIP, cross chain integrated protocol. Cross chain. It means link all the chains together. The best example I can give you is email. Can you imagine a world where your Gmail did not talk to a Yahoo email account? You can't even imagine that world. Well, you know why? Because I don't think your elbows are as pointy as you claim they are. I don't think your chair is as squeaky as you say it is. My chair is squeaking. Hope you can hear it. When you think about this, it's so obvious in hindsight. Only if the prices go up. But when the prices are down, nothing makes sense. I understand. I'm just telling you right now. Gmail and Yahoo. Imagine they could not talk to each other. Chainlink is going to help blockchains talk to each other. It's literally the same thing. See, right now, it's like heresy to think, what? Of course, email's got to talk to each other. Yeah, well, once upon a time, they may not have. So they are now entering the final stages. They're introducing, right? They're introducing everything together, tokenizing solutions. Yes, it's all coming. I know it seems like, yes, prices are down. Prices were down. What's happening? We aren't on the moon. I understand all that doesn't matter. The fundamental thesis is the same. So here you have Tommy Boo from the actual Swift himself talking about the interoperability model that would catalyze information. So interoperability, like in a nutshell, it means you got Cardanzo, you got Soldana, you even you got Ethereum, you got the different Ethereum layer twos, you got your Pulse chain, you even got your Tron, you got all these chains together, Polkadot, you say, who's going to win? You don't know who's going to win. They're all going to make applications. You need a chain. You need a protocol to make them all talk to each other. A protocol. That's what CCIP is. You have all the chains, all right, all the chains. Here is Chainlink's protocol. So when you're an entrepreneur, if you are conducting business on Polkadot, what if you need to grab people's data from other private blockchains? What if you also need to grab people's data from Soldana or Cardanzo? There doesn't exist a protocol to do that. That's what CCIP is. That's what Chainlink CCIP does. Crazy. This is why this tech is very unique. But hey, 
I understand, you know, when prices go down, no one really wants to care about it. It's like, hey, well, you know, yeah, maybe we have recovered a bit, but we should be like 30 times higher. Well, welcome to the game, man. Prices can do these things like you wouldn't believe. It doesn't matter. This is all about conviction. There is no sign. There's no magical sign to tell you that things are going to be okay. You need faith. That's it. We either, either, either everything goes to zero or the outcome that we're looking for happens. So Swift right now does international payments. It's the most streamlined version. It needs to be able to connect everybody in the world. They're probably in with the bug eaters and everybody else. Yes, of course they are. They got the tentacles everywhere. It makes sense too, right? So Chainlink coming in, it's needed. It's the only, it's the only, literally the only protocol doing this. That's that's why I'm telling you, baby dolls. There's layer one chains and there's dexes and there's privacy coins. Like the Chainlink is unique solution. It has a competitive advantage. Like it's 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 in its own league. This is why everybody looks at the Link Marines and like we look at them and we're like, oh man, you sound like you sound more conspiratorial than anything I've ever seen. But that's where they're coming from. It's because it really is the most unique tech. It really is. Do you know what's funny? Go look at most of the big influencers in crypto who are like super OG Bitcoin, like 2012 type of guys and girls. They all actually own Chainlink. They don't talk about it. I know them from time to time. They'll come, they'll slightly mention something, and that's it. So they'll consider the tech cool. I've spoken to other ETH Maxi influencers. They will never publicly say, I love Chainlink and I'm in, but they'll like, they'll give you like a love emoji when you talk about it, or they will like one of your comments. If you go through, you'll see it. Or they'll give you like a winky face in one of their Discord chats about like, oh, I really respect the team. Okay, I'm giving you this information. I don't want to name any names because I've got a straight back. Of course, I don't want to break anyone's trust, but I'm just letting you know, you're my friend. You're my friend, all right? I'm here to share with you this. Not We're not here to throw this leverage trading trash from all these other people, but I pump and dumps, okay? We're here. I'm here doing the good, honest work of the people. So Chainlink, the sleepy giant, the next blue chip project. So what they actually mean by this is the next blue chip project. I know we see prices have gone down. <laughs> <laughs> when blue chip, so when blue chip. But what they really mean by blue chip is this is the chant of Methereum. Okay, now Methereum at one point dropped 94%. But in the next bear market, it only dropped, hey, only dropped 80%, 81%, and then came back down. So that's what we, refer when someone says blue chip, that's what we're actually talking about. We're talking about the thought of it maybe having less downside in the future because people understand that more. They don't want to sell this diamond for a penny. So I hope I make myself clear. So Chainlink is obviously the Oracle. That's what it is. Connect everything. You have even all these applications like, don't even worry about like this. Yeah, a lot of nerdy guys doing a lot of stuff. Ooh, proof of reserve here and some little donkey thing and some pancake swap. It's, all of it's linked. Don't worry, it's still growing. There's no competition, all right? Mass adoption is coming. Here is Sergey talking about it. They always put him on like these really retail uh, normie CNBCs. It's like he's super connected. Like he's, I'm telling you, man, for some reason, Sergey, he ends up on mainstream TV. It's really weird because if you listen to him, it's, he's not he's not like super colorful and out there and eccentric. He, he doesn't make these huge, bold claims. Somehow, they give him a spot at the forefront. Very interesting how he keeps getting this spot. Either people have met him and they're like, well, I really respect this guy, what he's going, or there's a couple of bug eaters there, all right? Obviously, Chainlink, it's in the name. Chainlink links all the chains together. Users are going to interact with the application. So, you know, someone makes, I always do this example, right? So someone, let's say you make a game, right? You make a game on Corridanzo, right? Corridanzo, which is Ada here. But you want to grab people's information from a privacy blockchain one, privacy blockchain two. Maybe you want to use money market fund information from Polkadot, right? It has to go through Chainlink. So even though the application will exist on Cardanzo blockchain, the entrepreneur themselves, he, she, or if they're a duck, they will be using Chainlink to grab different data. They're like, hey, I want to enhance this protocol, right? So for example, for Uber, Uber needs Google Maps. Uber needs Stripe. Uber needs Twilio. It needs all these things. It doesn't exist by itself. It needs all these to connect together. Chainlink is being the connector. That's what it is. Of course, these things can go to zero, do your own financial research, yada, yada, whatever. If we lose or go to zero, comment hits earth, we're all going to zero anyway, so who cares? But this is, this is the punt. This is the punt. And the trend is showing, hey, everybody is adopting it. That's what you want to see. It's literally the core of all this crypto DeFi. 
Okay, so CCIP is needed for mass adoption. And it makes sense because we can't do much on blockchains by themselves. We need them to be smart. All right, so CCIP, the single platform that links all the public and private blockchains. Wouldn't that be fantastic if you could fast forward time in 10 years from now? And there are different companies with their own private blockchains, different different sectors of the economy, different countries. They have different mechanisms, different groups, and they are all enhanced because they can connect to public blockchains. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Like, for example, what if a country, let's say Singapore, maybe they want to have a blockchain for their own citizens and they will be able to grab data from Soldana or Cardanzo or Ethereum, one of the layer twos, and they can put it in together. They get the data themselves. This is helping to connect. And guess what? And then they can put their own specified data onto the public blockchain themselves and another country can grab it. Wouldn't that be funny? Now you have a linking of passports. There's the possibilities become endless. Crypto is the great equalizer. It's removing country flags and it's making us all degenerates who are cheering for different chains. That's what's actually been happening. So countries are beautiful, but they're for boomers now. <laughs> We're all going to be yelling about is it going to be Doge or SHIB or something else. I promise you right now, man, this financialization thing, friends, it is the new wave of gambling because <laughs> that's what crypto is, man. It's, uh, it's funny. I mean, you've just spent like uh, 10 minutes listening to this whole spiel about the future and where actually everything's going. And uh, yes, yes, we're all here to gamble. We're all here to speculate. We don't have the answers. Everything's a speculation and gamble. If it wasn't, enjoy your 3% gains per year. So it's beautiful that I get to see this for you, friends. So, you know, in, interesting in this thread is where we talk about why isn't this a big deal, you know? So honestly, don't worry about it. It's coming. It's going to do great things. Who cares? Let's look at the price, okay? The price is poop. The price is poop. This is Link USD. Want you to know before you chart anything, don't even bother with the USD chart. Look at the Ethereum chart. This is Link ETH. Okay, I want to know how is Link performing the ETH. This is the chart of truth. This will tells you everything. All right. Now, obviously, so no one's going to show you this chart. If you go on Twitter and YouTube, every single crypto chart looks like this. By the way, bang, they put it on a linear. See here, right click. They put it on a regular, and what they do is they zoom in. They zoom into this. We call it the Christmas tree. All right. It's a Christmas tree. It's called the pump and dump Christmas tree. And anybody who looks at this is going to automatically conclude it's a scam. It's a Ponzi. It's never coming up. All right. Because you can't possibly imagine it going up from here. But I want you to know once upon a time, have you heard of a coin called Bitcoin? Bitcoin had the same thing. Bitcoin had many Christmas trees. Okay. Yeah, it did. Had many, 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 many Christmas trees, friends. Look at this. <laughs> You're going to laugh. You're going to laugh, friends. Look at these Christmas trees, right? Have a look at this. You see this Christmas tree? Bitcoin was a Christmas tree. Have a look at this. Look at that Christmas tree for Bitcoin. What happened? Whoa! What happened to Christmas tree? What happened? Okay, okay, another Christmas tree. Oh, oh, oh. And then they did the same thing again, friends. They said, well, this is another Christmas tree. You got scammed and look what happened. Whoa! Okay, so you get the point. So don't listen to these people. These people are what we call copers, all right? So it's copers. Copers are people... They're, unfortunately, they're losers. So they're not used to winning. They don't actually want to win. They are not the hungry wolf like me and you, wearing our fluffy slippers, going out in the woods, trying to hunt for prey, okay? They're not hungry at all. They like being losers because when something comes along their way with a goal that involves them winning, as soon as they start winning, they don't know what to do with themselves. They're uncomfortable. You know, this is actually a psychological phenomenon. I've got the word that it's called, but there's actually words for these. There's, it's people who have bad luck, they tend to keep having bad luck because whenever something goes good, they think, oh, this feels uncomfortable. And they're so used to having bad luck and misery that they somehow screw it up. This happens time and time again. Well, I promise you right this. I see this in crypto all the time. I see it all the time. As soon as there's a couple of red candles, bang, everyone, everything's out. Okay, so put it, on a log chart, you have to see the real chart. Yeah, yeah, it's not the best. Yeah, it's down huge. Yeah, it went down whatever, 94, 95%. Who cares? I have the yellow rectangle of friendship and kindness here. This shows you where I'm really holding towards. I Now, I don't know, is the price going to be here or here or here or here? 
We don't know. You know, from even here, this is disgusting. This is disgusting. This starts to be great. This is juicy. I mean, if you really understand the link technology and how small it is to Ethereum, I'll be honest, like it should, it could be like, well, I don't even say, well, I don't see why I shouldn't be able to go up here, right? This, by the way, link ETH 0 0.10 up here means chain link is 10% of the Ethereum price. Now you might say that's too big. So maybe a lot of us, we have to deal with the reality of maybe we hit 3%. So what does that mean? It means if Ethereum is is $8,000, then Chainlink will be 3% of that. So you do 0 0.03 times Ethereum's $8,000, you get 240 bucks. That is something where you are now matching the story to the chart and the ratios, you get to see, hey, if this chart goes up, what, the, what does that actually mean? This is why when I say link $240, a lot of people don't believe me because they don't understand what's going on. So yes, this doesn't happen in a vacuum. This is a world where Chainlink pumped to the moon because Ethereum went into galactic nuclear. It went and hung out with the aliens, started having some orange juice with them, and then came back three times over. That's why. That's how the story lines up. See, no one, none of these expectations. I don't actually believe Chainlink just goes up by itself. Hey, you know, everything goes together. We're hot, we're industry together. Once you become enough size, you'd require the sentiment from Bitcoin, Ethereum, and everything else to go up, okay? Now, we're looking at Link USD as well. At the end of the day, you just got to think to yourself, all right? Uh, don't make it too complicated, all right? I, I don't like these red candles. These are, this is Haikanashi. Remember, it's smooth and it's monthly. M is for friendship. I don't like how there were 17 red monthly candles. I don't like how there were 17 red monthly candles. You got to decide, is that enough pain for you? Because I can tell you right now, that is way too much pain. But it doesn't mean throw it away. It just means the market has gone through a lot of pain. Bitcoin did it. Ethereum did it. Many assets do this. They shake everybody out. And the longer they shake out, the harder they shake out, the bigger the pump. Some refer it to the bigger the base, the higher the pump into space. You see this golden rectangle of friendship? This lines up to about December 2025. That's what I'm holding to. You can decide something else. No matter what, we're going to be friends forever. Tell mum and dad, CCIP. When they ask you what that is, say forget it. <laughs> Just tell them you love them. Like, subscribe, bell button and all. Catch you in the next one.